welcome back, members, friends, and fans, for another segment of my Zuma BWS Cygnus 125 How To videos. This segment is going to be on splitting the case. Yes, the long awaited splitting the case. For those of you that are interested in doing a, a big bore kit larger than 155, you're going to need to know how to do this. Okay, this will involve uh, replacing the crank. Okay, we're going to go ahead and simulate that because I don't have a new crank to actually replace it with, but the, the procedure is going to be the same. As you see here um, from my last video, I've removed the entire uh, oil pump assembly. Okay, um, you need to do that because the manual shows only eight screws on page five dash. 65 it shows four on the top and four on the bottom but it does not illustrate that the there is a, a bolt here that goes all the way through to the other side of the case that must be removed in order to do that otherwise you risk damaging the inside and when we open it up I'll show you exactly which one that is okay in order to accomplish this you would have had completed all the steps uh, listed before um, on page uh, 5 63, starting with uh, order number 1, 2, 3. Um, to be honest with you, I had a very hard time removing this uh, center stand uh, bolt. It actually goes all the way through. It's more of a, a cylinder that goes all the way through uh, because it was completely rusted and fused to the case. So um, I just went ahead and cut it um, so I didn't have to spend a whole bunch of time on it. Again, because I'm deployed here, um, or stationed here rather. I don't have all my tools available. I wasn't able to bring everything because of the weight. So I just went ahead, grabbed a hacksaw, and just cut it through just for time's sake. Okay, let's begin the process. Okay, in order to do this video, you need a couple of tools. I have, um, doesn't matter what size driver you use, but I'm using an 8mm socket, and you need a soft face mallet. It doesn't have to be rubber, it can be the leather type or any other type other than the metal because you're going to be whacking on this cast and if you use a metal one you can break it. Also with us today is some Lowen Dunkel. Good local beer here. 5.6 Nice amber beer. It goes very well with uh, any open fire cooked foods. Hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, potatoes, any kind of uh, like camping food, you'll find it goes very well with. All right, on to splitting the case. Looking at page 5-63 of the Yamaha Zuma service manual, which you can find at my webpage, it covers the parts uh, for disassembling the case. Okay, you need to complete it all these steps. Make sure that you remove the center stand in order to do this. Okay, all the bolts have been removed. We're now ready to start whacking at it with the hammer. Good beer. Okay, again, take your time with this and be sure to uh, rotate the sides as you whack away. And there we go. And here we are. Okay, as you notice, 
Uh, there is a, a seal for the crank uh, located inside here. This is a seal that you definitely want to replace and get a new one, okay? Because otherwise it's going to cause you a lot of uh, problems. The seal consists of a very thin rubber membrane mm -hmm. of the crank from this position it will probably damage the seal. So it's going to cause you leaking problems when you, um, when you go to reassemble your motor. It can be fixed from the other side after removing the CVT, but uh, I'd say just go ahead and uh, replace the seal before you have a problem with it as the manufacturer uh, indicates in the service manual. To remove the crank, that's done simply by propping it up, trying to get in position where you can see. Alright, and that concludes disassembling uh, the case halves. So next time, I'm going to show you how to put this back together. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. To remove the crank, it's done simply by propping it up, trying to get in position where you can see.